Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Thursday, March 17, 2022. Time is 4.20 p.m. Yes, of course, Jersey time. All right, here's a weird story here involving one of our heroes, you know, the well-trained professional who's always out there risking our lives as he protects and serves the government. This one is reported on News9.com. It comes out on March 16, 2022. And it reads as follows. Oklahoma City Police Supervisor charged allegedly forced two children to live alone, pay rent for Norman apartment. There it is. So the first question that's coming to mind to me is, who are these children? Where are their parents? And why is this person involved in this? All right, let's read the story, because I have not read it yet. Uh, Cleveland County prosecutor charged an Oklahoma City police lieutenant, he's a lieutenant no less, with two felony counts of child neglect on Wednesday. The department placed Lieutenant Richard Lewis <coughs> excuse me, uh, on, a paid, on paid vacation because of the charges. Lewis began working for OCPD in October 2003, so this guy's got almost 20 years on the job. Oh, he's got more than 20, uh, yeah, he's like 19 years old, 19 on the job. Lewis allegedly forced two children in his care, a teenager, and was one less than 10 years old, to live alone in a Norman apartment starting in August 2021. One of the children told police Lewis would stay at the apartment about five to seven times each month, according to the probable cause affidavit. I wonder if there was sex involved in that, and that's why he was there. So it sounded to me like this guy is taking these disadvantaged kids in under his custody and getting a little support from social services. Uh, Lewis allegedly forced children's care, a teenager, not one less than a teenager, and one less than 10 years old, to live alone in a Norman apartment starting in August 21. One of the children told police Lewis would stay in the apartment about five to seven times each month, according to the probable cause affidavit. In addition to school, the older child had to pay for half of the rent and commuted to a job by walking or biking. Lewis admitted to having the children pay for the portion of the rent, according to court documents. The older child also created a grocery list, which Lewis purchased every seven to ten days. The Norman Police Department began its investigation last month after a neighbor overheard one of the children banging on the apartment door to get inside. The other child was sleeping at the time and didn't hear the knock, so the neighbor called the police. In an interview with an NPD detective, Lewis said he had a two-way camera set up in the apartment to communicate with the children. The camera, however, was unplugged that night. Uh, officers responded. According to court documents, Norman police detective Tara Casillas wrote that Lewis said he removed the children to the apartment, moved the children to the apartment because he did not want his wife and her children to be further involved with the DHS or welfare checks from the police department. Well, if he didn't want that, why not just call DHS up and say, hey, you know what, this ain't working out, I can't take these kids. So, this is his way of resolving a problem. Stupidity. A spoke, you know, this also comes down to sociopath. He's a sociopath. Lack of empathy. Any decent person would not do that. First of all, you not take the kids into your family without talking it over your wife, and if your wife isn't thrilled about it, you don't do it, and you have to understand that these kids in these broken homes or no homes have problems, and they're not going to behave, and they're not going to think things out the way a child in a more healthy environment would do. They're going to they're going to act out a little bit more. Maybe they're going to resort to violence. Who the hell knows? But these are not perfect children. And when you're going to take them in your house, you have to understand that they are not perfect. And you're going to have that patience with them. And you're going to have to deal with a little bit of problems that comes with it. Instead, he's singing on the dollar bills in his brain. That's what that was all about. A uh, spokesman for the Oklahoma Department of Human Services said the HC can't comment on Lewis' case publicly by law. Lewis also was booked in the Cleveland County Detention Center Wednesday and later released on $25,000 bond. Anyone can report child abuse, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, this is just another case. You know, it's very sad because you have two children here. One's a teenager, obviously able to work. So, what is he, 15, 16? And the other one is... 
under 10, what is he, 9 years old, 8 years old? And this is their, this is their life. And this, you know, they don't have any, you know, you wonder how some people end up in life the way they do. You have to go back and look at the childhood and look what's raising them or not raising them. And these poor kids, you know, they already got no parents around them. What happened with their parents? And then this jackass, this a-hole, takes them on and somebody says, oh, it's a police officer. So it ought to be a good environment. Well, I got news for you. Being, in a, being under the care of a cop is the last freaking place I'd want to be. That's for sure. And he takes them in and uh, puts them in an apartment. And uh, maybe the money he's getting from social services wasn't enough to pay for the rent. And uh, the kid had to work. One of the kids had to work to help make up for that. I don't know. There's, there's got to be more to the story. Why can't the cop just come clean and tell DHS he, he can't have the kids anymore? But it's very sad that these children in life have to be victimized by adults, and it's really what it is. These are kids that are being are perpetually being victimized by adults, and uh, it's sad because you look at them and you know that their future right at the moment, unless they get in the hands of somebody good, or some miracle comes over their thinking process, and these kids will work them way, work themselves out of this, and it's very sad. So. Uh, I guess if there's anybody out there in Norman, Oklahoma, can help these kids out, maybe you should contact DHS and uh, because uh, it's very sad. And I get very angered over these kind of stories where adults victimize children. And uh, these kids are helpless. There's nothing they can do because the adults hold the economic control over them. The kids got no money, got nothing. And they don't have the, the thought process, the... The, the, the brains, the, what is the word? The, they don't have the ability to figure things out and, and make a good decision. They, they're helpless to get out of it. That's really what it comes down to. And they'll just be victimized till they turn 18, and then they'll be continue to be victimized. And really, it's of no fault of their own. So, all right, it's a short story. I'm, I'm going to look and see if there's any more uh, on this because... Uh, this guy needs to be exposed for who he is. He's a jerk doing that to these kids. Unbelievable. I'm John Van Dyke from New Jersey Exposed. Till next time, people.